Maloney College in California, and he joins us from Union City. Uh, good to see you, sir. So as both uh, Antonio Guterres and Awa were reporting, that Afghanistan's economics were in a precarious position before the fall of the government. The Taliban knew that. They've taken power without a plan, knowing the international community would not want to do business with them. How much responsibility for this precarious situation do you place on the new leaders and the Taliban? Enormous responsibility. Actually, uh, all uh, the current responsibility of the current situation and the situation that the country will get in falls on the shoulder of the current uh, leaders. Uh, now, uh, it's it's uh, it's a different question whether they will accept or take on that responsibility or even feel it or not. Uh, but it 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 lays on their shoulders. There is nobody else uh, who can take care of the uh, suffering population. Uh, those. You know, these people were caught by surprise, both economically and politically. A large number of the population dependent on, a, on an economy that was heavily reliant on the international aid. That was cut all of a sudden. Uh, there is uh, no governance. Basically, governance is fun dysfunctional with no services at all. Mm. And humanitarian aid that flew into the country before that stopped too all of a sudden because of uh, the political problems and uh, you know other logistical issues so uh, this is a shock for everybody and the situation is as you as you heard rightly heard is worrying for all of us so what we've been seeing is 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 a, a global call and response for aid for support Yet, when we hear our reporters saying that obviously these aid agencies are having to talk to the Taliban, get security uh, assurances from the Taliban in terms of trying to get to ordinary people, should there be strings attached to any aid given to the Taliban or at least an Afghanistan that is ruled by the Taliban? How much pressure uh, or inclusive should this aid be, uh, especially when it comes to, say, women's rights? What, what kind of strings attached should be put on, or if all, at all? You know, world concerns are, are, are understandable and, and, and they're right. Uh, they should think about those strings. But I think at this situation, we are facing a humanitarian crisis. There is a population of about 35 to 40 million that will probably die of hunger and, 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 and you know, uh, lack of medical supplies and other basic needs. So at this time, I think it will not be right to uh, link the two together. I think political pressure should be, or political uh, strings should, should not be attached to humanitarian crisis uh, or humanitarian aid at this time, because this will really result in the suffering of the common people. Uh, and, and I think world should, should separate the two. Um, and, and because if, if, you know, the current leaders do not really shoulder that responsibility or don't have the means to do so. Uh, somebody has to, and that's the world that has to. China has pledged millions. We know that Pakistan is a longtime supporter of the Taliban. Uh, regional leaders have been meeting. How much responsibility is it then for neighbors to step up, particularly those neighbors who will feel the impact of a broken economy and, and, and massive internal displacement? I believe this is everybody's responsibility, but uh, I don't think uh, only the neighbors can can uh, can address this or can take care of the, all, the, all the problems because this is much bigger than what they can afford to do. Pakistan has its own economic problems. They have a high ratio you know, of, of uh, debt to G GDP. Uh, similarly, China, usually their aid is, is mostly, at, you know, they have strings attached to it. Uh, and, and this population right now needs help that without any strings. Um, I think uh, you know, the world must think about uh, preventing this humanitarian catastrophe at this time, and then think about the strings and conditions later on, uh, because this is, this is a problem that's currently at hand, and that has to be addressed. And, and again, in the future, I think humanitarian aid or flowing of humanitarian aid is not the solution because how long will you feed the population? You need an economy, yeah. a functioning economy, a functioning government or a system to feed those people. You cannot send an aid forever. But I think at this time, before we move to the second stage of addressing governance problems or, or putting conditions on the current rulers uh, or, or setting up 
an environment so that they can uh, build their economy and feed the people. I think this this uh, crisis is, is very urgent, and I think it needs to be uh, addressed today. Gul Maksud, Sabit, appreciate all of your perspective. Thank you for joining us here.